Happy Saturday and welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, with the Saturday vloggy thing. This is not my Vlogtober post though. That will come later on today. Uh, this is going to be quicker than usual. I'm just on a short break from work, hence why I'm in the office here in the house. Uh, yes, I, I decorate my space because we do video meetings and stuff. And this is sort of the view that my video meeting people will have. There you go. Had to wear my my divine hat because I'm I'm kind of in love with this pattern now. And yeah, besides, I'm still in my pink jammies. Yes, I'm in jammies. Yes, I sometimes work in my jammies. That is one of the perks of working from home, okay? Especially on a day you know you're not going to have a meeting because it's Saturday and this is extra weird project work. Um, life stuff, well... I still don't have a car that's working right now. I mean, the car works just fine. Just the brake lights don't work, which is not safe to drive. You can get tickets and get hit in the butt and stuff, and that would be bad. Um, hopefully, Sean will be able to maneuver that little part in there. If not, we are going to take it over to a mechanic, and they have a lift that they can put a car on, which means you don't have to be on the ground to get into this little teeny tiny cubby hole where the, uh, the fuse box goes. If it was just changing a fuse, that's easy peasy, but we have a fuse box to deal with, and my car has an aftermarket sunroof. I bought it used. I did not order it with a sunroof. I did not have the sunroof added. This is just something that was added after it was new and before I got it, okay? It's a 2008, and apparently when they did it, they did it in a way that kind of gets done a lot, but it's really the cheesy way to do it as far as the wiring goes. They have it attached to another bit and bob of the fuse in there. So we're like, uh, I'm not sure how that's in there. We're like, you know what? If we have to, we'll just disconnect that sucker. Won't use the sunroof until we can figure it out sometime next year. Not a big deal to me. Um, yeah. When I got the car, the only thing I could think of with the sunroof was more moving parts, more problems. <laughs> but, you know, I got a good deal on the car and it has been a really good car. Just this one real weird thing happening with it. So, got my community tab. Yes, I did. That makes me thrilled to bits. And I'll be adding stuff there and I'll occasionally put, if I find giveaways and stuff and posts that you should go look at, I'm going to put it there. And I've already got a little bit in there. I've um, just been really kind of crazy with work. So I haven't been able to keep up as much as I would like. Still need to do my nails today. Ugh, there's so much to do. Um, and also, I will be putting out a giveaway video this weekend. It's going to be a whole separate video. So I do thank you for paying attention and coming on. Because yes, I have 500, y'all. Thank you so very much for coming in and listening to this crazy girl right here. Because that's what we do with each other in this community. We've all, we're all just a little bit off. You know what I'm saying? And that's what makes it fun. We all have our own quirks. Um, but I did hit 500, which I never thought I would do. Yeah, totally thrilled. Um, so yeah, there will be a giveaway coming up. It'll be a biggie and it will be international. Yes, I know that shipping can be really high, but I've planned for that. It's okay because I, you know, this community has brought me friends from around the world and it just makes me happy and I do like to share. I can't share a lot. I don't have a lot, but I do like to share and, you know, say thank you to my new YouTube friends. And also, speaking of being able to share, sometimes we can share little things like a postcard. Yes, I do have it in my descriptions of all of my videos for at least the past month or so. Um, how to get in contact with me if you would like to swap postcards. Because postcards are fun, they're inexpensive. Uh, right now, if you're, if you're sending from America to another country, I think it's a dollar thirty. It's either dollar thirty or dollar forty, so it's not bad. Um, in the states, sending a regular size postcard, I think is fifty cents. For I'd have to look it up, and I'm using my phone to record, so I can't look it up right now. But it's it's not terrible. I actually buy my I buy forever stamps, buy the sheets, so that if even if they do raise the price next week, I've got my stamps, and I have a bunch of stamps. I try to buy them ahead. So there is that. So if you'd like to do the postcard swap, please look in the description below because I would love to hear from you. It's kind of fun. As far as crochet goes, I've been working on my Vlogtober 
crochet over blanket. Oh my goodness, excuse me, in my jammies makes me want to go back to sleep. Um, and I will show that on my uh, Vlogtober post. It, it has not grown today at all. I have not touched it. It is sitting in its bag out there. I'm also working on the Pick and Mix Cow by Lisa Ladybird Loves. Hopefully I will remember to, I don't know which side it'll go on, but, but put a doohickey up here to link to her playlist for her uh, Pick and Mix because it is fun. I'm learning new stitches and yeah, it's, it's just, it's a good time. And, um, oh, I have made a few hats to go to Crochet by Night. She is doing sort of a, uh, like a hat warm giving tree and she needs them by the end of the month. The end of the month is coming. I am hoping that I can get to a post office Monday <laughs> because that's pretty much the last chance I have to get there. I have made this squishy hat just, um, it's double crochets and half doubles and some ribbing at the bottom. It is that it's holding two of those chenilles together. The just uh, chenille stuff from Dollar uh, Tree. Oh my gosh, it's soft and squishy. But yeah, holding two together, I had never done that before. So there we go. If you've got bigger, floof, floofier hair, this will be good for you, but it will fit a regular size head. And I have got two divine hats. I told you I really like that pattern. One in a green that I think was off of a Karen one pound and this one, which was off of a roll with it tweed, which I really like the way that color works up in that. So I'm sending those and I've also got, um, three sets of two pairs of socks each that I picked up brand new socks because sometimes if people are in need, you know what, a pair of socks, especially in the winter time, that's what this is all for that helps more than you think if you have ever been without a place to go and you don't have clean socks to put on that can not only be uncomfortable and awful it can lead to a host of health problems if you can't keep your feet clean so that's just just a little something and this may not only be for homeless folks this may also be for um like people that go to college in the area where she is and they don't realize that the winters there get super cold. So, you know, somebody might need some socks. If you're ever putting together care packages for someone, um, who, for a, a person who is experiencing homelessness, include socks, include little soaps if you can, little snacks, hand wipes, that sort of thing because that is something that you may not you take for granted having the roof over your head and a place to store your stuff it's just a little pointer I've been there that's right now for a while I was there and I had a car to live in and then that car got repossessed this is 30 years ago this is a long time ago it's a lifetime ago but I have been there so I know what it's like and at least I know what that portion of it is like some people have it a lot worse I was in South Florida, so not having a home in the wintertime wasn't that bad. It wasn't that cold. Um, other places, it's it's really, really bad. In a country as rich as ours, we shouldn't have anybody who doesn't have a place to live. There, I said it. I said the quiet part out loud. We also shouldn't have anybody who can't afford their medicines and who can't afford to go to the doctor. But you didn't come here for me to be on my soapbox. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that because I can go off, let me tell ya. Um, as far as that goes though, this was gonna be a quicker vloggy video than usual because I do have to get back to work. My computer is staring at me going, there's stuff to do, there's a report to run. You know, usual worky type stuff. My kitty is asleep right next to me and you know what, I'm gonna wake him up because he needs to show his fans his sweet little face. Hello. Did mama wake you up? Yeah. Mama woke him up, but it'll be okay. You see that sweet face? I always say he's my very teeny kitty. Ugh. He's 18 pounds. Yes, he is mama's teeny boy. And he'll sometimes look upside down for you. He's like, why'd you wake me up, Mama? He's going blink, blink. Yeah. I'll put him back down and let him go back to sleep. But my teeny boy, he's so sweet. He's so soft. His furs are soft like a bunny. 
my mother-in-law always said, oh no, he, he'll, he won't stay that soft because he was a very soft kitty. He stayed that soft, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, he's purring. He's just happy mama's holding him. And yes, I pat the butt. He likes it. Oh, good boy. Okay, I'm going to put you down. Oh my goodness. Oh, there you go. Good boy. Okay, you've gotten to see my teeny kitty Oscar. I've rambled on about things. Sporting my beanie because I'm kind of digging it. Wearing my jammies because I can. <laughs> I really hope to see you soon. Thanks for coming by. I do appreciate it. Be looking out for that giveaway video that will be coming up. Once I get off work, I can start sorting things out. And uh, more to come. More Vlogtober every single day. It's been fun. It really has. And I really thank uh, Neva and Ashley for getting me to join in. So thank you. <laughs> See y'all very, very soon. Bye now.